it, it was the most extraordinary thing in my career that I've ever been a part of. Uh, uh, and you can see the wisdom of our founders 229 years ago giving us this opportunity, this option for correcting errors in our government. And it worked. I mean, we came together, we met in committees, we deliberated, we even had dinner at a local public house where we continued the conversation in a more informal way to help tweak our proposals. And then it came before the convention today. And the proposals that had been um, thoroughly vetted because they were straightforward uh, got up or down votes and, and passed. Those that were very nuanced and difficult and that, that needed more deliberation, the convention said, let's think more about those because there are some ramifications we haven't thought through. In a, in a real com convention, we would have had another month. We would have had more conversations off-site uh, to fix those problems that had been raised. But it was extraordinary being part of that in the making, that, that the process actually works. Well, there were a number of states that have been kind of sitting on the sidelines thinking this is not possible, the government has gotten too big, uh, we don't have the capacity to govern ourselves anymore by taking things into our own hands through this constitutional mechanism. And I think everybody that was part of this program the last two days realized that's not true, that that Article 5 route to a constitutional amendment is designed so that the people can take back some of their authority and correct uh, errors in their government shy of having a revolution that we have this constitutional mechanism and it was it, it, it and it works that the ability of people coming together who are serious of purpose uh, and and willing to be nice to each other even in disagreement can come to extraordinary resolution after deliberation Alexander Hamilton wrote that it seems to have fallen to the people of this country to determine the question uh, whether uh, we can govern ourselves by reason and deliberation or whether we're to ever be governed by accident and force. Uh, if we fail in this effort now that the crisis has arisen, it will not just be us but the world that will suffer. All right, that's a bit of a paraphrase, but I feel the same thing here, that we've come to a, a crisis in our, in our government. The federal government thinks that it has no limits, and the ability of the American people to rise up and say, that's not the deal we signed on to, and you forget that you all work for us, that we are the ultimate sovereign, and we're going to take matters back into our hands. I think that effort, that idea has gotten a renewed vigor here, wind in the sails. And I expect from the 10 or 15 states that have already on board to very quickly get to the 34 that are necessary to call this convention. Over and over from everybody I talked to, they were astounded by the performance of this body, by the statesmanship that they saw exhibited by this body, by the intelligence and the passion of the debate, the demeanor of every one of you in this room. You have proven beyond a shadow of a doubt to the country that the people of the United States of America are ready to hold the first Article V convention in the history of this country. I congratulate you, I salute you, and may God bless you. Thank you very much.